If you ever wanted to host your own website, then you've probably heard of Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace. Aside from WordPress, these are the three biggest containers in the industry. And on the surface, these website builders might seem identical, but as someone who is quite familiar with hosting websites, I just know that that's not the case. The point of this video is to put these three web hosting providers through a series of speed tests to see which option is best for your website in terms of performance, because none of us like slow websites. So stick around and let's get right on into it. All right guys, so in order to get as close as possible to comparing apples to apples, what I did was created a nearly identical website on Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace. When you look at these websites side by side, there are subtle differences, but for the most part, the content on the page is identical. So with a level playing ground, the first thing I did was I ran each website through fasterslow.com, which consists of a network of testing servers that measures the performance of a website on a global scale. Here you can see that Wix killed it across the board in terms of performance with a perfect score, and this is because the Wix servers responded significantly faster than both Squarespace and Weebly, and not only that, but Wix was the only site to load its primary content on the screen in less than one second, while Weebly and Squarespace took nearly two seconds to load on average. Another speed testing tool that you might be familiar with is Google PageSpeed Insights. I ran each site through Google PageSpeed Insights, and again, the Wix website was given the highest performance score of 86 out of 100 for mobile pages, and this time a near perfect score of 98 for desktop pages. Now at this point, it seems like Wix is the clear winner here, but because I know a thing or two about website speed, I wanted to dig a little bit deeper. Next, I used Google Chrome's built-in developer tools to look at the individual requests that were being made for each website. Although Wix is making the greatest number of requests by far with a total of 68 individual resources being loaded, the size of the page is actually the smallest at 2.6 megabytes, but not much bigger is the Weebly site at 2.7 megabytes. So based on that data alone, it seems like Wix does the best job of compressing its images, and it turns out that that's actually the case. The image of me with my glasses was compressed from its original size of 1.7 megabytes down to just 145 kilobytes on the Wix website, which is a reduction of 91%. The same image was compressed to 233 kilobytes on Weebly and 406 kilobytes on Squarespace. Without getting too technical, the way Wix is able to achieve this level of compression without a noticeable loss in quality is by automatically converting any images that you upload to the WebP format, which is an image format founded by Google that is said to be up to a third smaller than JPEG images. Anyway, it's great that Wix is able to deliver its web pages faster than Weebly and Squarespace, but how does it do under pressure let's say when your website gets a lot of visitors all at once. I used load testing software from K6 to send a bunch of traffic to each one of these websites to answer this question. Yet again, the Wix website performed the best of the three as it was able to fulfill an average of over 1,500 requests per second during the duration of the two minute load test. The difference in the average response time is also quite clear with Weebly performing the worst by far, whereas Wix was the quickest to respond in under 10 milliseconds. As you might expect, Wix is indeed the most expensive option with its cheapest plan at $14 per month when you pay annually, but as you've seen, you get what you pay for. If you're new here, my name is Tony. This channel is called Tony Teaches Tech and it's all about the technical aspects of hosting your website. So I invite you to subscribe and check out more of my videos as I release them in the future and I have a huge repertoire of old videos that you should also check out as well. I wanna thank you guys for watching please let me know if you have any questions down below. Give this video a like and I'll see you in the next one.